How many times have you seen screenshots like these? Multiple funded accounts being shown, a lot of profit being made across multiple accounts, but you can't figure out how are these traders trading multiple accounts all at once when it seems impossible to jump from tab to tab actually opening and closing multiple positions across five to 10 different accounts and then some. Well, if you don't know, most traders are utilizing a trade copier and those specifically using Apex, my funded futures, or even Top Step are using Tradeabate and actually using their trade copier. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the tutorial of Tradeabate's free trade copiers. So this is a trade copier that you don't have to pay for as long as you select the Tradeabate broker and you'll be able to use this for each funded firm account but separately so as in if you had all apex accounts you could use the group trader for all of your apex under that one login and then likewise for your top step account and same thing for my funded futures but if you like myself and you just transition over to futures so you may only have one or two accounts that you're working on in this case being two accounts that you want to link to a trade copier then you came to the right video and i'm going to be showing you guys how you can use trade of Ace trade copier and all that comes with it so let's jump into it so in this video you're going to learn how to get started with trade of eight through your preferred firm I'm going to be showing you guys specifically Apex that I'm linking these accounts with. You will also learn how to connect your futures prop firm account to Tradeavate. Third, you'll learn the basics of trading via the Tradeavate platform, as well as how to set up your charts and how to set up looking at your orders and all that good stuff. And then lastly, I'll be showing you guys how you can place trades using the trade of a group trader. So I did want to show you all as a point of reference with my funded futures, when you actually select what broker you want to go with. If you want to use the trade of a group trader, you want to make sure you select trade of a here. If you go to Ninja Trader, our trader any of these other platforms you will have to utilize potentially a paid copy trader across the multiple accounts that you end up selecting which is definitely your choice but if you are interested after watching this video definitely select trade of ape and we will have a five percent off extra discount with the link in the description so make sure you check that out now since i have already secured a funded account with my funded futures i wanted to try out one of apex sales and been trading their accounts as well so if you guys are interested in using apex just make sure when you get to the page here they have a rhythmic plan you want to make sure you select the trade of a plan for your account in order to again utilize the trade of a platform for the group trader now let's go ahead and jump over to the trade of a platform and let's get logged in now if you are utilizing apex you will receive your login information that you'll enter on trade of eight and it doesn't matter how many accounts that you have the login will all be the same that's how they all stay connected on one and that's the same reason we wouldn't be able to link my funded futures with apex because you're going to have separate logins so you have to anticipate that now there are trade copiers out there that link across both but in today's video i just really want to show you a free option using the trade of a group trader gfx trade lab the future of trading education now available on all devices Get access to futures, forex, and crypto courses and education, as well as various trading tools and widgets to make your life easier as a trader. Access our daily live streams directly in the app and trade alongside us. Receive push notifications so that you never miss another trade setup. Download now for free and level up your trade. All right, so we are actually logged into the Trade of Eight platform. So usually when you first log on, the only thing that would be open or showing would be the chart that comes up when you initially log in. You won't have this positions tab here, so I'm gonna take this away, show you guys how to add that. Now, before we add on any additional modules, I do wanna highlight and point out, if you wanna select the chart that you want to look at, you have to search the symbol in here. And whatever symbol that is selected, double check this here, because when you enter in market orders, it's gonna be based off of what's here. Now, you could also, just to show you guys an example, Let's say I put in a order ticket. We can actually switch out what pairs that we're looking to trade. So because I have MNQ here on the order ticket, but not here on the actual chart, and let's say I hit buy or sell, put in the amount of quantity or amount of contracts that I wanna use, this is not gonna execute on the gold chart. So you wanna make sure that matches if you choose to have an order ticket up to quickly place in your buy and sell orders. One more thing to notate about Trade of Eight, when you do an advanced order for a take profit or stop loss, this is what's called a bracket order and it will not let you do any bracket orders on the group trader. So keep that in mind, you'll have to just enter into market and then simply from there, go back onto the chart to set your stop loss or take profit. But what we will need is the actual positions that we wanna see up. So if we select positions here and we drag it down to the bottom, 
We can also drag this down so it's not super big. Once we actually enter into a position, they will also list here. So that's just the basic setup that you guys need to trade with Tradeavate. But if you also want to use like the timing sales, you want to look at the depth of market. You can also add those things on here. Options change. You can look at your trade performance news. So it has a lot of different things that you can add here, but you will mainly need just in order to make sure that your positions are being entered across both accounts the positions tab open another cool thing about trading on tradeavate you can actually set daily loss limit weekly loss limit trailing max drawdown daily profit triggers weekly profit triggers as well so this can be very helpful for risk management and making sure that you stay within a certain range so that you're not losing more that you intend to each day and then you can also exit all the positions from here as well just in case let's say you enter on one account don't get in on the other one or make a mistake you can also quickly exit here using the exit all positions cancel all tab now one thing we have to notate before we actually go into manage groups and create our copy trader we want to make sure that once you go to add-ons here you need to have on the group trade add-on this is free here Free to add on to the platform but you need to have this activated and then you have to log back in and you should see once you go back to your account tab here at the top of the screen select down you'll be able to see manage groups that's how you would know you successfully added the group trader so if i go to manage groups here let's call our group trader 1 million funded as that is the ultimate goal to initially have 1 million in funding to be able to trade with and we'll drag this over because we want to add the accounts here and you will be able to see that this says quantity here. So let's say these accounts were two different account sizes as in one was potentially like 100K, the other was 50K. If we wanted to double the risk on let's say the bigger account, we would put in double risk. So two, two times the risk If we put in three, that'd be three times the risk. If we want just the initial risk set, we would leave this here at one. So both of these accounts are 50K with Apex. So I wanna make sure that that's one. Then I'm gonna hit save here. Now it says account group successfully saved. I can hit close. So now when I go down, I can see 1 million in funded here. So now that I have the group account selected, both of these accounts are within those here and we'll be able to actually enter into an order. So for the sake of this video, I do wanna actually show you guys a actual entry. So let's say we want to enter across both accounts, we would put in two. So for every one contract, we would have to put in double because there are two accounts. So you have to think about it as in divisible by two. So let's say I wanted 10 contracts on each of the accounts, I would need to put in 20 here. If I wanted five contracts across each account, I would want to put in 10 here. So if I want just one contract across each account, I would just put in two. And let's say I hit buy market here. Now this is exactly what you want to see. You want to see buy one market, buy one market. You do not want to see just one account come up and it says buy two because that's going to let you know that you're not actually within the group you're trading on one of the accounts so if i have the account selected here and i select buy market you see now because i'm on this account i'm not on the actual group account it's showing buy two instead of buy one buy one per account so if we go back here we are selected with our group trader and if we hit buy market it's going to say buy one and one i select buy order now, filled as you guys heard, the order field is now in and we can actually see the trade fluctuating. So you can see $1 basically across both accounts. We bought one long here, one on each. So not two, not two on each, one on each. And basically this also helps us to define our risk and cut our risk across multiple accounts. So picture having both of these accounts or even four or five accounts where you can specifically split your risk between those accounts and you're able to actually make more out of these trades that you take. So you don't have to go for those higher risk to rewards because you have multiple accounts to where you may only need a one-to-one -to, -one to make a certain amount of money per day. This is definitely something that we are starting to utilize at TGFX on the future side of just understanding that with some of these accounts, especially dealing with trailing drawdown and those things, it's important for us to be able to use the same basis of strategy that we currently use, which is typically a, a intraday swing. So one to three and more type of strategy. But in certain scenarios like this, where we have trailing drawdown, we have these platforms that are more conducive to a scalper type of style. What we can do is actually utilize contracts like the micro gold futures, where we can have multiple contracts in and we can actually scale in and out of positions.
Now, because of the fact that we cannot set any bracket orders, meaning that we can't immediately place our stop loss and take profit, we need to actually go on the chart and set those here. So because we are in buy trades, what we need to do is select our chart and we want to put in a sell limit for our take profit. And we want to make sure that this says two. So notice if we were just on one of the accounts, it would only say one or one. It's going to say you want this to say sell limit two. This is going to close out both contracts currently active. So if I hit sell limit, it's going to show both sell limit for one for this account and this account here and as well for our stop loss. So if I want to get out of this buy position, I want to set a sell stop and make sure this says two It's going to have the sell stop for both accounts. And as we can see, that's set here. And then that's also set here, taking out both of our orders on those accounts. And if we are looking to close out of these positions, let's say we just want to close out immediately. What we want to select here is sell market and make sure that it shows the two contracts. Because if we just do one and hit sell market, it says it's going to tell you that the total of quantity should be a multiple of two because you have two here. We can only scale out of the position from the amount that we have. So let's say we have four contracts total. We would cut two off of each if we had two here. But since we have two contracts total, we basically have to close both of those out because we only have one contract for each account. So if I hit two and hit sell market because I am in a buy position, I would hit buy market if I was in a sell position. So if I hit this here, it's going to say sell across both accounts. I hit sell. Would have failed. And you guys can see the open and net position has now closed. That's basically how you guys can set up this group trader. It's very functional, easy to use, not overcomplicated. I will say it gets more complicated when you get to the point of trying to figure out if you want one account bigger than the other because we are going off of contract sizing and not pips, which can be definitely different in determining your risk factor. So if you do have the accounts that are the same size, it's definitely very doable. But let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in using this trade of eight group trader and any questions that you guys have, definitely post them in the comments. Future videos we'll be working on as well. So we appreciate all of you guys' feedback. But as always, guys, invest in yourself and I will see you all in the next video.